Welcome back to another episode of 40 Facts About the 40K Universe. I am your host, Gersh1, and today we're going to be talking about Slanesh and Chaos Space Marines as we get into the Noise Marines. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. We post Warhammer 40K lore videos every single day. If you have any suggestions for topics, please comment down below. And if you enjoy our content, thank our patrons on Patreon. It's because of them that we can do this. Link in the description if you guys want to support us. But with that said, let's get into 40 facts on the Noise Marines. Noise Marines are Chaos Space Marines who are wholly dedicated to the Chaos God Slanesh, the Prince of Pleasure. These corrupted Astartes are completely dedicated to pushing their minds and bodies to the absolute limits of sensation. All have spent centuries enraptured in the throes of Slanesh's service, and their ceaseless devotion has corrupted their bodies until only the most extreme of sensations hold any satisfaction in their pleasure-filled synapses. Now their every thought is bent wholly towards their own self-gratification, and their imaginations insatiably overflow with insane visions of reckless and lonesome indulgence. Along with the fabled transhuman physiology of an Astarte, noise marines also possess an extraordinary sense of hearing. This auditory acuteness is a blasphemous mutational gift from Slanesh himself, extending far beyond that of a normal human's, and is sensitive enough to distinguish subtle changes in pitch and tone within even the most cacophonous noises. This foul blessing also warps the way their brains interpret oral stimulation, causing them to undergo feelings of intense euphoria and emotion that increases in proportion to the volume and frequency of the sounds they experience. Noise marine relish in these sensations above all others and are entirely obsessed with indulging in their unique abilities, often subjecting themselves to the most overwhelming and chaotic noises imaginable at the slightest provocation. The most beloved way for a noise marine to indulge this craving of deafening sound is to immerse himself in the frenzied clamor of battle. There, the harsh cacophony of combat and the shrill screams of the dying are like music to the noise marine's callous ears his mind quickly fills with powerful emotions of unrivaled intensity that rapidly overpower every other concern. However, the deafening roar of the battlefield is still not enough for most noise marines, and he adds to the ear-splitting din with devastating blasts from the sonic arsenals for which they are named. The first creation of the noise marines goes back to the days immediately preceding the Horus Heresy. The noise marines' name comes from their preference for weapons that use concentrated sound in sonic waves. The sonic blaster, an outwardly resembling a bolter, it produced discordant blasts of sound. Also the blastmaster, a rifle-like weapon that produced different sonic frequencies that overpower senses and can even destroy flesh. And finally the doom siren, a loudspeaker surgically melded into the chaos space marine's body that enhanced his own screams into violent torrents of pure sonic force that can knock even the largest enemy off their feet. All of these sonic weapons descended from the musical instruments invented by the famed composer Beck Kinska of Terra, who accompanied the Emperor's Children 28th Expeditionary Fleet as a remembrancer aboard the battle fleet Pride of the Emperor during the Great Crusade. Kinska was a jagged musician always in search for further sensations to create more exhilarating and all-encompassing music, which made her an easy target for Slaneshi corruption. After Kinska accompanied many of the 28th Expeditionary Remembrancers to the temple dedicated to Slaanesh on the Xenos world of Loran, she was touched by the chaos corruption of that foul place, and slowly sought to create the ultimate orchestral piece that she believed would capture the wondrous sounds she had heard within the Lair Temple. Her ultimate masterpiece was a symphony she named the Maraviglia, which she performed to Fulgrim and all the assembled Astartes of the Emperor's Children and their support personnel within the Remembrancer's Lounge, called Le Finis, aboard the Pride of the Emperor. To recreate the sound she had heard, Kinska created new musical instruments whose sonic powers could also be used for destruction when employed by an individual already corrupted by Slanesh. As the Maraviglia began, the cacophony of sound unleashed by these instruments acted as a sorcerous ritual that opened the link between real space and the warp and allowed the powers of Slanesh to directly touch the audience. During the performance, it was noted that the musical instruments were able to produce effects that were disorienting, stimulating, and downright murderous. Chaos mutations ran rampant through the audience 
and the Astartes and humans alike were so overwhelmed by the sensation and uncontrollable emotions that they unleashed in an orgy of both sensual hedonism and the most base form of murder upon one another. Ultimately, the music summoned five lesser demons of Slanash, known as demonettes from the warp, who possessed the bodies of Kinska and several of her singers, who joined in in the slaughter. During this part of the concert, several Emperor's children left their seats and took up the instruments to try and keep the chaos music playing, and in the course of their untrained fumbling with the instruments, discovered that they could unleash waves of destructive sonic power filled with the strength of chaos. When the Emperor's children engaged the Imperial Loyalist during the drop site massacre on his Fan 5, some Emperor's children space marines took to the field armed with these modified sonic weapons, becoming the first noise marines. These corrupted Emperor's Children Astartes soon organized themselves into a unit known as a Cacophony, which was under the command of the Legion's third captain, Marius Verosian. After the heresy, the early noise marines took their deviant behavior to a new level through their dedication to the patron Chaos God, and over the years of bloody warfare with the Imperium, they have honed their bodies to possess such extreme sensory perception that nothing can stir their emotions other than the din of battle and the screams of the dying. Since the days of the Horus Heresy, the Emperor's children have splintered, but regardless of the faction, warband, or traitor legion they belong to, noise marines wear power armor painted in all manner of striking and bold colors. Pinks, blacks, and purples are used predominantly in bizarre patterns all over the armored legs, arms, gauntlets, helmets, and shoulder plates. Their senses are so distorted that only the most extravagant shades and patterns register as pleasing to their mind. Above all else, fear is simply another sensation to these servants of Slanash, and they delight in inflicting pain as much as they enjoy experiencing it. Yet despite the novelty and pleasure of death, noise marines are in no hurry to partake in it, preferring instead to sample the maraud delights to be found in the service of chaos. They readily accept the many boons of Slanash and eagerly deal with the demon or warlord able to offer them a delicious new excess. Many even gaze with undisguised envy upon the seemingly immortal demonic entities who serve Slanash and long to experience the limitless freedom these diabolical beings enjoy and so pursue the path to demonhood. A noise marine indulges in a plethora of uniquely vile experiences and sensations in order to fulfill their unrelenting yearning. Yet for the many temptations that await them within the galaxy, the lust for auditory stimulation is the most enticing of all. Whether achieved through pitched battle or arcane devices, noise marines go to any length to attain their desire. There are many forbidden Xeno artifacts and devices in the galaxy capable of bestowing indescribable sensations on all who dare wield or even look upon them for any length. Noise marines frequently encounter such items in their travels, and many even develop a taste for these exotic delights and inhuman vibrations. Yet their pleasure often turns to obsession, as these warriors attempt to contrive ever more imaginative and novel ways of incorporating their discoveries into their ceaseless indulgences. These noise marines are known as Enotians, and their frantic mania can either be a boon or a bane to those who become entangled and their endless passions of additional relics and alien sensations. Other noise marines demand tribute in the form of slaves, which they then incorporate into their own horrific glorification of the Prince of Pleasure. Each captive is fitted with a bizarre array of sonic amplifiers and Vox speakers, which cause the recipient great pain and amplify every tortured cry and terrifying gasp to skull-shattering heights. Thus prepared, these pitiful creatures accompany their masters into battle, staggering behind their captors in vast proceedings, bound together with golden chains, each adorned with savage and delicate hooks. They're the many cries of intolerable agony, encouraged with blows from cruelly barbed and toxic lashes, rise together in screeching and discordant adulation for the many pleasures of Slanash. And those were 40 facts on the Noise Marines. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, share it with your friends and thank our patrons on Patreon. It's because of them that we can do this. Link in the description if you guys want to support us. It's a dollar a month. That dollar basically goes towards us creating our very own sonic weapons um, so that we can further our worship to the Chaos God Slanesh. So please support us on Patreon. 
again just a simple dollar a month and soon we will be devotees of Slanesh to the extent of the Emperor's children uh, no joke <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for for listening if uh, you guys have any comments suggestions comment down below and since you guys have been asking for One Mind Syndicate merch, uh, we have finally partnered up with someone who is a sculptor, and we were able to create our very own One Mind Syndicate objective markers. The link down in the description is going to take you to our uh, eBay page, where we're going to be selling these uh, objective markers. So it's a set of six, because there's just six objective markers for the tabletop. Each objective marker has a different theme to it, uh, based on the you know 40k factions of course orcs and tau uh, are, are one of those uh, factions and, and space marines uh, so if you guys want to support the channel and also get some cool stuff uh, link down in the description there is a limited amount that we created we only created i think it was 30 and that's all we're going to create we're going to test it out see how it's going which is why with the ebay page is there we don't want to uh, open up a uh, actual uh, online store yet um, until we see that you know people actually want to buy these kind of things. So if you guys want to support the channel, get some One Mind Syndicate merch in the form of objective markers. Again, link in the description. But thank you guys, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. This is Gershwan with One Mind Syndicate signing out. <laughs>